Review copy provided by PlayStation. Uh, we're doing something fun today, chat. What are we doing, Gabby? It's a spoiler free. Spoiler free. Spoiler free. No spoilers. I'm not going. I'm not going to open the map. Yes, we're going to be gonna super gonna careful not to open that. There's not a whole lot of spoilers in the map. No. Um, in Nothing. case it accidentally gets open, but yes. um, yeah, no spoilers. Zero. Just Zero. swinging around New York. Something I noticed when I only when I was researching for this game. So after I had played one and two and Miles Morales. Yeah. The whole city is flat. Wow. Yeah. Like, New York has a lot of hills. Yeah. Like, very tall hills, So that's valleys. a huge change. That's a huge change. For gameplay purposes? Like I think it's just, it's a little too difficult to, like, swing. Like, how do yeah. you swing from a low point to a, a hill? Like, yeah. that might be hard. Um, okay. There's a whole, I almost said look at the map. There's a whole, like, fifth of New York that is missing in the game. Got um, it. Washington Heights is, like, not there at all. Yeah. They kind of truncate it into this, like, section right here. Yeah. Okay, so where yeah. would you like to So go? head west. Heading. First, we're going to talk about Marcus Garvey Ooh. Park. So this is kind of representative of um, on the west side, Hamilton Heights. Yeah. And on the east side, the Barrio and Harlem. Um, how about, like, the the the... Raised subway? Raised subway. Is that what they call it? The uh, raised subway? Raised subway? I don't know. So there's it's not like do a have, train. No, it's... What is a train? <laughs> I, guess, I guess so, yeah. So um, we have... In the game, there's two, I think. Two or three. In New York yeah. City, there's only... Uh, or in Manhattan, there's only one. It's on the uh, east side. I think this is the one on the west side. Okay, oh, let's... wait, is that it? No, it's not. Keep going. Oh. <laughs> what about this? Are there random baseball fields yes, just like in the middle of the city? Yeah. Baseball so cool. fields and basketball courts, mostly. There it is. Oh, whoa. So this place. Yes. Dude. So this is supposed to represent Marcus Cool. Park. Gabby, what the fuck? This Wait, is cool. Wait, we go here in Miles Morales. You don't remember? I don't. Hey, there's a big festival. Even though I just beat it again the other day. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this place is supposed to represent Marcus Garvey Park. Yeah. Um, Marcus Garvey Park is like the... I believe the biggest green kind of space in Harlem. Yeah. Um, it's right by where my family used to live. And um, it it's named after Marcus Garvey, who is a very problematic individual, mm -hmm. um, a okay. black nationalist, but in the way that like white nationalists are white nationalists, <laughs> okay. like was friends with KKK members. Whoa. Cause he was like, yeah, like black people should just live on their own and not be around white people. Yeah. Problematic person. Wikipedia describes him as like a businessman and activist, which is Whoa. like, that's not even, that does not even begin to describe it. <laughs> um, but Marcus Garvey Park has one of my favorite Harlem features that doesn't get talked about a lot, which is this fire tower. It was one of 11 that was built, I believe, at the turn of the century. Dude. Um, let me double check. I took notes. Fucking sick. Um, it's the last remaining one of 11, and it was originally used by Native Americans because it's it's like the highest point in Harlem. Yeah. So before settlers came to and lived in New York, uh, Native Americans used it to see over the whole island. And then when settlers moved into the Harlem area, they built this fire tower because it's a great spot to look out across the city. Um, there's still a bell in there. They don't use it, of course, but yeah. there's still a bell. Um, and they used to like ring the bell in order to, you know, signal the other fire towers if they saw a fire. Sick. It's cool because like a spot like this in this game, like there's a lot of places in the, you know, you're not going to go everywhere on every mission. Yeah. So it's cool to like come up on yeah, spots like totally. this that are just like here to to get you more immersed mm -hmm. in the... And yeah. if you watch our preview, we talked about how like exploring is much more organic in 2. And um, like I, when I finished the game, there were still areas I had not explored. There was still like a little piece of the city that I hadn't explored. Okay, so the park um, opened in 1840. Wow. So before the Civil War. Um, and then the Harlem Fire Watchtower was built in 1850. Wow. Um, so also before the Civil War. Awesome. Right here. Don't. This is Columbia University. No way. Yeah. So this... Columbia University... Wasn't this used as Peter's High School in Spider-Man 1? Dude, Am I, I wrong? you're right. Um, swing around this yep. this central dome. Is this so, like housing and stuff? Probably these buildings. Um, classrooms. Classrooms. Classrooms mostly. I think some of them are dorms. I I had a couple friends who went to Columbia, but I never visited dorms or anything, so I don't quite remember. Established. Seventeen fifty four. 
Wow. So before the Revolutionary War. Dang. Um, so originally it was King's College and it was downtown on the grounds of, um, of uh, not St. Patrick's, of Trinity Church. And the first graduating class, oh eight people. Oh my God. Now it has 30,000. Wow. Yeah. And it was like a, you know, spon state sponsored, and by state I mean the King of England sponsored yeah. um, college. King's and then College. King's College. There is still a King's College. I like that name, King's College. Yeah. There's something about it. <laughs> Oops. Um, and then it, uh, after the Revolutionary War, it moved north to um, Hamilton Heights, where it is now, or uh, Morningside Park, where, or Morningside Heights, where it is now. Um, and it's, uh, after the Revolutionary War, it um, got this kind of, what is it called? Board of Trustees, yeah. headed by John Jay and Alexander Hamilton. Dear. Founding Fathers. Is this Columbia. person sleeping in here and we're just creeping? That's a door. Oh, yeah, that's a dorm room. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. When I was a kid, because this is so close to where I spent the first 12 years of my life, um, we would, like, run around and play on the campus, like, on these little grass areas while kids were in class and, like, Dude. in the summer and stuff. Is that ball there? I have not been there in a long time, so I don't remember. The That statue of a woman sitting in a, sitting in a chair is that, that one? one. That's there. I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. That is there? That, yep. I love that stuff. Yeah. When they take the actual things. Let's head to Central Park next. Central Park. We're going to start right at the top. Hell yeah. Does Central Park have a ton of baseball fields like this? Uh, yes. There's like one big section in the middle of the great field or something. I don't quite remember the name. So awesome. But they're both baseball fields and soccer fields. So when I was on junior varsity soccer, we would play soccer. Like this. Is this in Central Park? Um, it seems so specific. Very, uh, they just renovated this area, so I think this is there now or something very similar, but there is a playground right here. Dude. So this area, if you go up to that building right there. That one? Yeah. Um, this area is called the Harlem Mere. Um, Mere, M-E-E-R, um, is Dutch for lake from the original Dutch settlers. Um, it was added to the park in 1863. This um, thing? This whole area, this whole area. Yeah, this thing yeah. is so cool. I definitely remember this from the game. Yeah, like, oh, so this, this is the cool. Dana, some Charles A. Dana or something Discovery Center. It's like a little... Freak Whoa, him out, chill. freak him out! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <No. laughs> um, it's like a little museum kind of. Um, it, I just got chills from you walking in the mirror. It's so disgusting in there. I would never. <laughs> I would never. Apparently, people used to ice skate on it, which I did not know a very long time ago. But they, it's not allowed anymore. I think probably too many people fell in. But you can rent little fishing poles from the Dana, Disco the Dana Discovery Center and, and do catch and release fishing on the mirror. No way. Yeah. And there's some tiny fish that live in the... In the um, uh, lake, but not many. Um, there's cool also spot. It, such a cool spot. <laughs> this is like the place I probably spent the most time as a kid at the mirror because, um, and it's not on this map, Lasker Rink, which was which was like, let's see, a little west of this area, which was a pool, a public pool in the summer, and an ice skating rink in the winter. Huh. Um, and it was Woolman Rink is way more famous. That's in a lot of movies, and that's uh, farther south. Got it. But uh, when Lasker Rink was built, it was like a cheaper, less crowded alternative to um, Woolman Rink. So it, it became very popular for that. It also got very run down at some point, and they, um, it doesn't exist anymore because they built a new, they're building a new like Harlem Mir Center. Um, that will have an ice skating rink and I think also swimming pool. Sick. Uh, conservatory garden. It has um, some beautiful flowers in the spring and summer, and it's just like kind of a nice place to walk. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Stop here. Stop here. Oh, this is the famous spot. Yes. Yeah, so this is Bethesda Fountain. Dude, I've always wanted to come here because like eighty movies are here. <laughs> yeah. Like yes. Hundreds it's of movies. Um. John Wick. <laughs> Ransom with Mel Gibson. Oh. Um. So the lake that abuts this is called uh, just the lake, and it's one of the original features of Frederick, Frederick Law Olmsted's um, uh, design for the park. Yeah. 
and it's technically a nature preserve, which is something I learned. And people have been boating on this lake since the 1860s. I love that someone is boating right here. Yeah. Um, and people say it's the best place to bird watch for the over 250 species of birds that live in Central Park. Um, so this is Bethesda Terrace and Bethesda Fountain. Yeah, I love this um, spot. This is the only statue funded by the city in the original design. Wow. And it's also the first statue to be commissioned, publicly commissioned by a woman in New York City. Shit. 1868. Um, this feature right here, this kind of long walkway is called the Central Park Mall. And it's, it's an original design in Olmsted's, uh, original part of Olmsted's design. And it's designed so, because in the first few decades of Central Park's existence, people mostly just like rode a carriage through it. They didn't like get out and walk. Um, so it was designed so that a carriage could co go to one side, drop off the passengers, what? and then go around all the way to the other side to pick them up on the other side. Cool. Yeah. What's this building? I like it. Um, this is the Natural History Museum. I can no, talk about that yeah. a little bit. Dude, fuck yeah. Natural History Museum. Um, that is one of my favorites. Sick. Established 1869. Damn. And houses 35 million specimens. <laughs> so the exterior of the Museum of Natural History was, um, the, was used for a night at the museum. Yeah, yeah. for sure. The insides are all sound, sound stages, but the outside. Riverside Park is like kind of the dinky sister of Central Park. It's like a lot more run down, a lot shittier. On the right? This thing. That building, yeah. Got yeah. it. Um, yeah, what is this? So this is Grant's tomb. Grant's tomb? And I originally thought that was a metaphor, but then I just learned when researching this that Ulysses S. Grant's body and his wife's body are in this building. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. dude, I had what? no idea. I was talking about it to my roommate, too, who was also born in New York and raised mostly there. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, I had no idea. I thought what? it was just... Thought it was just kind of a metaphor. <laughs> But no, it is, Very cool. it's an actual mausoleum. Head east, look for a um, look for a building with a green dome on it. This is one of my personal favorite buildings in New York, and one that I interfaced with a lot because it was on the walk from the subway to my high school. What was that thing actually? Uh, this is a fort. It was used both in the Civil War and the Revolutionary War. I don't remember exactly what it's called. Dude, awesome. Yeah. I mean, you're a fucking tour guide, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, yeah. See it down there? There's a green building with a green oh, dome. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So dude, this was sick. right near the train station for my, um, uh, my stop for going to school. Usually I took the bus, but when I did take the train. Yeah. And this is the Islamic Cultural Center of New York. Sick. Um, it, it, the roof is green because just like uh, the Statue of Liberty, it's yeah. copper. So it started out as like a gold copper, copper color, but you know, the years changed it green. Wow. Do you know why it's on an angle? No idea. Something with the sun maybe? With Mecca. Mecca. So the door faces Mecca. Cool. Um, yeah, finished in 1991. You know, there's there've been Muslim people in New York for forever, but you know, the Islamic leaders in New York were like, you know, we should have kind of a center, like a, a central place we can kind of, you know, um, celebrate this yeah. beautiful architecture. So, yeah, we're flying along Museum Mile right now, Museum which goes along Mile. Uh, Central on uh, along Fifth Avenue on the east side of Central Park. So that includes Museo de, del Barrio, that includes uh, the Museum of the City of New York, the Met, the Guggenheim, um, and I think at the end of the park there's like the Museum of Art and Design or something. So the Guggenheim. Do you remember at the beginning of? Um, Across the Spider Verse, they have that big fight mm -hmm, with the yes. like Picasso, yeah, or not Picasso, uh, the Vulture. Yes, the Vulture. Yeah. Um, Michelangelo is that yeah. it? Yeah, Le Da Vinci. Da Vinci. The, like Da Vinci style. So uh, that this twisty building right there, that's where that takes place. So cool. Guggenheim. It is actually not right across the street from the Met, but it is very close. Very. Cool. Um, and Mocha is supposed to represent Mocha. Metro Metropolitan Museum of Art. Um, my, as an adult, my favorite museum. The largest museum in the Americas. Really? Yes. Dude. Wow. Two million pieces of art. Wow. I read somewhere if you spent one minute in front of each piece, you'd be there for like 16 years or something. Wow. Yeah. And like, it's something like 10%, not even 10%, like 2% of the, of the things they have are on display at any given time. Sounds like a challenge. Yeah. It opened in 1872. Awesome. 
Um, and my favorite part of the Met, which they don't have anymore, uh, before 2013, you used to, uh, when you got in, they would give you a little metal button that had the Met symbol on it, the Met M. Yeah. And they retired the buttons in 2013, mm. so you don't get them anymore, yeah. Dang. Where is that obelisk? It's near the Met, I believe, because I think the Met owns it or something. I think it's behind the Met. Okay. Check there. So it's like close to spin like spin around in the air. Yeah. There, <laughs> there it is! There oh my is. god, there's nice. the obelisk. Uh, this is called Cleopatra's Needle. It's 200 tons of granite. And it was it's from the 15th century BC. Dude. Yeah. It was originally And in, it's just like in the middle of the park. Yes. That is so insane. it was gifted by the Egyptian government. From what I read, it seems like it was kind of pressured to be gifted by the the uh um Egyptian government, yeah, but it was kind of uh, a gift for the United States remaining neutral when France and England were fighting over um, kind of occupation of Egypt. Gifted. gifted. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds um, like a bribe or something, honestly, yeah. <laughs> it was gifted to the United States in 1879. It first belonged to Tutmos the third, then... Ramses the second. Do you remember who Ramses the second is? I forget. We saw him at the British Museum. Sick. That big statue of that guy's face. Remember, yes, he was the one who would like recarve other people's statues. Dude, to look like himself. oh my god, yeah. what a psycho! So that guy, he added the inscriptions. What a psychotic move, yeah. dude. <laughs> he added the inscriptions to like talk about his his war achievements. Wow. Um, it took. 32 horses and one steam engine, 112 days to drag the obelisk from the East River to Central Park. What is this place? That is Belvedere Castle. Um, it looks interesting and it is not really, it's, I mean, it's beautiful, but it was, it's just kind of built like that to look cool. It <laughs> like it's cool. not a historical monument. Got it. Right there, that's Lincoln Center. This, this big area, yeah. Got it. And what is Lincoln Center? So Lincoln Center opened in 1962. Sick. It's the home of the New York City Ballet. Oh, awesome. Um, the Metropolitan Opera. Oh, my Juilliard. God. Juilliard. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Dude. And the New York Philharmonic and the Chamber Music Society. Wow. Yeah. Chad, I've never been to New York, so I don't know <laughs> any of this shit. Um, it's unknown. I learned this researching. It's unknown why it's called Lincoln Center. Because the area is called Weird. Lincoln Square, but in the original documents... Um, referring to the land, there's no reference to why it's called Lincoln Square. Yeah. And it, it, some people think someone may have had the last name Lincoln or it's a tribute to President Lincoln. Got it. But there are theories that because the the mayor was... A, was um, his The mayor's father was a union commander or assistant commander, like sub-commander or something who was an enemy of, of Abraham Lincoln. Whoa. So some people think his name was, uh, or there's no reference to the name being Lincoln because they were enemies and he like didn't want to see it. <laughs> Have you been here? Yes, many, many You've times. You've seen some like ballets yes, and ballet, stuff? ballet, never opera. I'm not a big opera person. Where does it go down? In which building? So, oof, that's a difficult question. Um, there's, there's like five or six different theaters. Um, like each side has yeah. at least one theater of these like three. Yeah. Look at that green roof building right there. I think that's supposed to be Juilliard. This one? Um, yes. It's the, it's the new Juilliard building, Seems which really small my father designed. Uh, it's, um. Your fucking dad designed this? Yeah. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> that is the most insane, like casual drop of info you've ever said. Yep. <laughs> Maybe one of the most insane things Easy Allies has ever said. <laughs> Let's go to Columbus Circle. Yeah, see right there that circle? This one? That's Columbus Circle, yeah. So I don't know who this statue is of, but uh, in actual Columbus Circle, it's like a very tall pillar with a statue of Columbus at the top. Yeah. Um, and This then, seems like a Columbus type ma man. Yeah, it looks, it's like some kind of colonial person, founding yeah. father or something. Um, there's a really bad Is there wall. a spray paint on it like this or graffiti? Yeah. Well, there's usually way crazier uh, <laughs> vandalism. <Yeah. laughs> uh, way more intense vandalism, let's say. Uh, and if you turn to your left, that is a monument to the, the, the main. Thing? Yeah, that the gold one. Dude, That's sick. a monument to the uh, people who died in the, in the main, the USS Maine. Columbus Circle is point zero 
in New York City, so any measurement, uh, any New York City measurement... No way. Um, uh, Columbus Circle is is the the point by which Whoa. it's like thought of as the as the very center of New York City. Whoa. Yeah. So if they say New York is the center of the universe, it's Columbus Circle, which Columbus is like nothing. Circle There's like a bad mall and some office buildings. That's hilarious. Um, but yes, it's also so. I don't know how well I can explain this, but um, for a C two visa, I think, which is the one that you get if you're. Um, like a, it's like an ambassador visa. Mm -hmm. So if you work for the UN, you have a C2 visa um, along with your regular visa. So C2 visas, you aren't allowed to go within 25 miles of, mm. um, of New York. Um, and that 25 miles, point zero is measured at Columbus Circle. Whoa. So this is Washington Square Park. Um, nowadays, most of the surrounding buildings are uh, like NYU dorms. Yeah. Um, and it was built in 1871, um, or no, the, oh, I'm sorry, the arch was built 1871 and it's the, it's the formal ending to fifth Avenue. So after Dutch settlers displaced the native Americans from this area, they, it became, uh, they like kind of shipped all the Fucked up. free or half free, um, uh, mostly Angolan, um, residents, settlers, community members to this area and it became known as um, as Little Africa and then they eventually displaced those people and turned this place into a potter's field where they just threw the bodies of unknown people, randoms, people who couldn't afford graves, formal graves. They just threw them on like in a big Holy hole here. Shit. And then eventually it turned into uh, a grave site for people who died of yellow fever. Oh my god. Um, so they, and it, because it was far away from where most people were living, so, you know, people wouldn't get sick from the dead bodies. Yeah. Um, there are more than 20,000 bodies. Oh, that was bodies, my next question. 20,000 bodies under this. Yeah. The oldest body they found was like 17 something. Yeah. Like from right after the park was built in wow. the 1790s. Cursed site. Yeah, really Dude. cursed. How about some of these big ass buildings? Like, what's that one? That's the World Trade Center. One World Trade. That one? Yep. Nice. I was like, That's this That's the Flatiron Building. This is like fucking the Continental, right? John Wick chat? The is it the same one? What if you could swing through New York like this? <laughs> I wish. This game really makes me wish Spider-Man was real. Don't oh, know. there's Bryant Park and the New York Public Library. This one? Yeah. Second biggest, biggest library in the United States. Dude, amazing. What's the first? Uh, the Library of Congress. So it's this building? Yes. So, well, there's a million branches, but this is yeah. the one everyone thinks of with the lions. Dude. Lions. And, the, and this is Bryant Park. Oh, yeah. Where are the lions at? They're not there. <laughs> is this Times Square coming out? Yes, this is Times Square. Never been, always wanted to go it's Times okay. Square. <laughs> yeah, it's like Hollywood Boulevard, I bet, right? Yeah. Just like, if you're a local, you're it's like... It's nicer than that, but it's... Because uh, Disney owns all the property now, so they like, keep it clean. Yeah. But um, it's mostly just crowded. <laughs> Should we go over there? Sure. Let's do it. Let's look at Brooklyn and Queens. Do you have a fave New York City bridge? Uh, I like the Brooklyn Bridge. And I like the George Washington Bridge, probably. And what is this park? That is Prospect Park. Cool. Some Whoa. people think Prospect Park is better than Central Park, and they're wrong. It's also beautiful, but they're wrong. At Coney Island over there? Fucking sick. Not an island at all. <laughs> is that how it looks in real life? I've never been. <laughs> Do we, never? Dude, we gotta play the Warriors, man. It I needs know. to happen. <laughs> and then north would be Queens? Yep. Are the taxis green on in Brooklyn? Um, so What's we that used about? to only have yellow cabs. Yeah. But uh, too many of them refused to go to uh refused to go too far uptown and refused to go to outer boroughs because yeah. of racism. So wow. they made these green taxis, which can only go, can only take you to or from outer boroughs or above 96th Street, I believe. Whoa, fucking sick, Gabby. This was a great idea, Gabby. What a cool way to like usher in Spider-Man 2 
taking a peek at the open world in real life, basically. Because, like, how long did you live in New York? Like, proper? Um, is that without college? Everything counts. Uh, 22 years. 22 years. Yeah. In New York. Crazy. And your parents live... Right now they live in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. But they just moved there officially, fully sold our New York apartment this year. Yeah. So my mom has lived there since she was like 16. And my dad since he was like 7. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Hope you enjoyed. New York, New York. New York. All right, Gabby, that was fucking sick. Review copy provided by PlayStation.